Hi, Earth students. Okay, so I'm going to finally explain to you this tricky triangle that's been coming up to explain soil. And the reason that it's so tricky for you guys is because you have a black and white version. So this color version is making it a whole lot easier. So bear with me for that. Okay, so what's happening? So we've got our three composition, our three parts of soil, I guess. Soil is made of either clay, silt, or sand. And depending on the proportions of each of these things, it actually um, will impact what we call the soil, like how we describe it. So let's see what's going on. Firstly, you'll notice that if it's 100% of anything, it's 0% of everything else, which kind of makes sense, right? Because you can't have, um, you know, 100% plus something plus something else. It doesn't, doesn't make sense. So if it's 100% sand, then it's nothing of clay and silt. All right, but what happens if it's a little bit different? So let's have a look at if a soil is 70% clay. We know that to add up to 100, there's, it must make up 30% of something else. So we've got two options, right? Or we've got a few options, I guess. So it's either going to be 30% of either silt or sand, or it's going to be half of silt and sand, or it could be 30% sand, or it could be some other proportion like 2010 or 525 or something like that. Okay, what I also need to mention is the way that the lines work. So the lines for the clay go side to side. So you've got 10, 20, 30, etc. The lines for the sand go diagonal up, okay? And the lines for the silt go diagonal down. So you can't, I was making a mistake earlier, you can't go 70% down like that. The 70% goes across, okay? That will help. Um, all right, so let's see what happens if we've got a 50% clay soil. So we go across, and then let's say we've got 40% of this, which is sand. So therefore, the remainder is silt which is 10 percent which makes sense right and we still call this a clay soil all right let's try again we've got 30 percent of clay we've got 30 percent of silt so what's left over is 40 percent right so 30 30 is 60 plus 40 makes sand so therefore we call this a clay loam so Hopefully, it's now making sense of how you actually read this um, triangle. I'm going to give you one more example, and then you're going to have two questions to try yourself. Okay, so let's try um, if we've got a 30% um, sand, then we've got across is 25% clay. So what's left over, 30 and 25 is 55, so it should be 45, which is correct. So we've got a loam. Okay, so I want you to figure out what um, proportions of each of these compositions of soil is needed for the following two um, categories. So let's see, if we've got a um, sandy loam, what proportions of each of these things is needed? And if we've got a silty clay, okay? So hopefully that will be a little... Um, exercise to test your understanding and the answers will be popping up in the video. Pause the video now and have a go. How'd you go? Stay curious. 